Dear parents and students, welcome to the test prep card channel. Today in this video, which is going to be about NIT Arunachal Pradesh, we are going to discuss the following topics in this video. First, we are going to discuss the basic overview about National Institute of Technology, Arunachal Pradesh, which is located in Parampare, a place in Arunachal Pradesh. And then we are going to discuss the eligibility for various courses being offered by NIT Arunachal Pradesh. Then we are also going to discuss the required entrance exams for the various courses being offered. Then we also need to know the required cutoff for Indian as well as NRI students and the application process for admissions into NIT Arunachal Pradesh as well as the scholarships, if any, being offered by this institute, NIT Arunachal Pradesh. So let us begin with this video and uh, I would request you to please completely watch this video and it will be very much informative, let me assure you that. And in case if you have still any queries left after the end of the video, you may ask it in the comment section. So let us begin with the video. And uh, first we need to be very clear about what is this National Institute of Technology, uh, which is in Arunachal Pradesh. So National Institute of Technology, as you know, or, uh, around the country, there are 31 NITs in India. And this one that we are referring to in this video has a uh, all India rank of 19th among the 31 NITs that we have. So that's a pretty good rank. And uh, the year of establishment of NIT Arunachal Pradesh is the year 2010. So it's been in existence for more than a decade now, as well as uh, uh, the other things that you need to be aware about is that it is a public institute, autonomous body indeed. And uh, I told you the name of the exact place is Parampare, Papam Pare, you pardon, uh, in Arunachal Pradesh, Papam Pare, P-A-P-U-M, space P-R-E, P-A-R-E is the name of the place within Arunachal where this exact location of the NIT is. So what else do you need to know in the basic overview about this NIT Arunachal Pradesh if you are seeking admission into that? It was established more than a decade back and the application mode this time around is going to be online and there is a basic admission criteria of either the JE main exam or the gate examination as per the courses that you are seeking admission in. And there is scholarship as well. So we are going to discuss further ahead in the video, the scholarships being offered as well as reservation is there as well as uh, in IIT Arunachal Pradesh being a public institution. So what are the various courses offered? There are UG PG courses as well as doctoral programs being offered by NIT Arunachal Pradesh. So BTEC course is the most fundamental undergraduate course. And then there are MTech and MBA courses in the postgraduate category. And then there are post uh, the doctoral programs as well. So these are the broad streams of courses being offered by NIT Arunachal Pradesh. And uh, Further, you need to know that uh, there are total 17 courses across four streams on offer by this government autonomous institute, NIT Arunachal Pradesh. You can visit the website as well as uh, that is nitap.in and there you can find all the relevant information with regards to this autonomous institute. Moving further ahead in the video, let me tell you about the eligibility for the various courses on offer. So I have already given you an overview of what the various courses on offer by the NIT Arunachal Pradesh are. So the first course, the most basic one, BTEC, the course that most of you would be looking up for as an aspirant. So candidate should have 75% aggregate marks in 12th with PCM or PCB and have a valid percentile in JEE main. So this is the one of the courses being offered and the eligibility for the same. Then candidates must have passed their BTEC in relevant discipline with at least 60% aggregate marks. So this is again very much important as well. So they should have at least 60% marks for MTech in their BTECs from whichever institute, valid institute they may have and also must have a valid GATE score to seek admission in MTech in NIT Arunachal Pradesh. Then MBA is the other postgraduate course on offer. So graduate with 60% aggregate marks in his discipline and this is relaxed for the reserve categories. So it is 55% only for the reserve categories while for general category, you need 66% aggregate score in your graduation and must have a valid CAT score, CAT score as well, right? So these were the few courses on offer. Then the rest of the courses are MCA, MSc at the postgraduate level and then PhD at the doctoral level. 
So about MCA, again 60% aggregate marks for general category students and 55% for reserved category students. While in MSc, you can have a BSc in chemistry or physics with 60% aggregate marks. So there is no relaxation as such in that. For PhD, a candidate must have a master's degree as is the case in all other institutes across the country. And he should have this degree with 65% aggregate marks and also appeared for the net exam. So this is what is required for the PhD programs at the NIT Arunachal Pradesh. So moving ahead and we see that uh, the BTEC course is obviously four years of duration. There are seven specializations available and the entrance exam as I told you is JE main. So you need to have a valid score to seek admission into BTEC courses. What are the seven specializations at NIT Arunachal Pradesh? These are civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and even biotechnology is there. Computer science and engineering is there. Chemical engineering is there and electronics and communication engineering is the seventh in the last stream of specialization for BTEC courses at Arunachal Pradesh and IT. So this was the various courses being offered. And yes, there is reservation as I just told you on the eligibility criteria itself. So the required entrance exams for, uh, for this, if we summarize is for MBA, uh, you need to have a graduation with 50% plus CAT score, a valid CAT score needs to be there. Then for BTEC, uh, the 10 plus 2 with 75% marks plus a JEE means valid score, which makes you eligible for this. The cutoff for which we are just going to discuss ahead in this video. So please stay tuned. And also you can refer to the document prepared by test prep card for DASA CIWG students and it could it would be available in the description and also for the NRI cutoff please uh, find it in the description itself. So for the BTEC courses as I told it's 75% aggregate marks in 10 plus 2 while for MTech one should be passed in the graduation and have a valid GATE score. Then for MTech uh, in other streams also this same thing applies. PhD post-graduation and should have appeared in net, but 65% marks, aggregate marks in the post-graduation. Then for MSc, which is in chemistry and physics, you need to have a graduation uh, in chemistry and physics uh, with 60% marks, right? So this is with regards to the various entrance examinations and the eligibility criteria in general. So you need to have either a CAT valid score, a JE main score or a valid GATE score. Now, moving ahead in this video about NIT Arunachal Pradesh, the required cutoff for NIT Arunachal Pradesh in the various streams of engineering, let me tell you and give you an overview of that so that you can accordingly uh, perform in the JE exam if you are seeking admission in this NIT Arunachal Pradesh or any other NIT for that matter. Civil engineering has a opening rank round 1, 33,000 close about and closing rank of round 6 as close to 49,000. Computer Science and Engineering, let me tell you the range of from the opening uh, rank round 1 to the closing rank round 6. It's 11,300 to 27,300 for Computer Science and Engineering at NIT Arunachal Pradesh. Electrical Engineering is 25,836 to 40,000 almost. Then for Electronics and Communication Engineering, it's uh, 22,000 to about 34,000. And for Mechanical Engineering, it's 24,000 to 44,000. So these were the required cutoffs if you are seeking admission in NIT Arunachal Pradesh across the various specialization that it offers for the BTEC courses. Now the application process for BTEC, as I just told you, you need to have a valid JE main score just based upon the cutoffs I told you and followed by a uh, the, the counseling itself and candidates are selected for MTech courses based upon a GATE score and CCMT counseling is there for MTech courses. And then for MS program, which is Master of Science, you need to have a valid IIT JAM score. And then there is a CCMN counseling for that postgraduate course as well. So uh, then if you have not appeared or not cleared IIT JAM, then you can appear in the entrance test for this and followed by an interview round as well. PhD admissions are done on the basis of written test and then followed by an interview round as is the case in most of the other autonomous institutes and universities for PhD post, uh, uh, beg your pardon, doctoral programs after post graduation. Most of the uh, other institutes also fo follow this course itself. Then we have this uh, scholarship thing that is very much important for most of you students. So let me tell you that there is a scholarship for diaspora students as well. And there is a one scholarship for SCST students as well. So let me first tell you about the scholarship program for diaspora children. 
so the scholarship program for diaspora children you need to need, uh, keep few things uh, that make you eligible for that uh, you need to keep that in mind one must be of indian origin and should be a non resident indian and also in the age group of 17 to 21 years so most of the, uh, of you uh, who are aspiring for an engineering course would be in that age group candidate must have secured 60% aggregate marks in 10th class from a recognized board and the annual family income should not exceed 2 to 50 us dollars so you can convert your own annual income and then 150 scholarships are provided to the selected students under this uh, central government program for diaspora children scholarship and candidates can apply for this scholarship from spdc which is a scholarship program for diaspora children spdc portal of the government so this was about the scholarship for diaspora children which was started in the uh, academic year 2006 and 7 and this was for pio and nris to assist them in pursuing their undergraduate courses in indian universities and institutes so nit uh, arunachal is no exception to it so you can seek admission through this scholarship and then there is a national scholarship for higher education for scsc students in which you are given for 4 years that is the duration of a btech course or an undergraduate engineering course 4000 per month one is given a scholarship of so this was pretty much it uh, i told you about the scholarships and the other basic requirements such as cut off the eligibility criteria for the various courses offered so i wish you all the best and please do check the link for the nra cut off in the description given below and if you have any query please you can leave a comment and that will be addressed by the test prep card team i wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching the video and stay tuned and subscribe to test prep card channel thank you